Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a plan with me in my Hobonichi Weeks home planner and this is the Hobonichi Weeks in white line in black and today we will be doing or planning the week of the 11th so the 11th week of 2023 and we are going to be starting with lining our pages so as i've mentioned in my last plan with me i am trying out how to or lining my pages with a pencil i usually prefer lining my pages with felt tip pens that are or have a smaller nib but I saw quite a few people do this, both on Instagram and YouTube. So I decided to go ahead and try it out for myself. So the reason that I wanted to do this, because I've heard someone say that the pencil lines, which is more gray, very light, blends better with the grid. And I wanted to try that out to see for myself if I would like it. And now I'm making lines in my notes. I'm dividing it into three sections total. I'm making a quite a big table here. And it's very similar to the table that I did for my last uh, week. If you want to see more of that, I suggest going over to my Instagram. It is paperjoybh as well to see my pages in my Hobonichi Weeks. And I actually post there quite regularly, so make sure to give me a follow. So this table is my meal planning table. So this is where I do my meal planning. I don't plan or meal plan breakfast. So this is just lunch and dinner. And then I'm dividing that into two for obviously lunch and dinner. So at the bottom, I'm making a graph, and this is quite new because I don't usually have a graph in my home planner. That usually happens in either my work planner or my personal planner. But I decided to go ahead and see how I spend my time using this graph based on what I write down in my daily planner. My daily planner is a Kinmore dailies and it does have time trackers. And I wanted to have a place where I could see that information all together in a smaller form. So it's easier for me to see rather than have it be in separate days. I could alternatively do this in my Kinmore weekly, but I did not do that this week. Maybe I'll try it sometime. But I'm trying out this tracker first to see if that will work. And I haven't tried it yet. And I I don't think I've tried it this year yet. So I'm very keen to see if that will work. And this is our page done. So I've put away the pencil and now I've taken out my zig dot liner. So this is a dot liner or rather a dot um not a dot liner what do you call that like a highlighter but with one nib is dots then the other one is a fine liner and i am also using a fountain pen this time and for the longest time i have been using my um favor castell echo pigment fine liner and i've recently re-inked cleaned out and re-inked some of my fountain pens and I really miss using it, especially this one. This is the Pilot Prara. In it, I have the Pilot Hiroshisuku Shinkai, which is a navy blue that matches my Hobonichi Weeks Mega, which is the last plan with me. And I will link that video up above in the cards as well as in the description down below if you are interested to see how I plan in my work planner. So here I'm just using my fountain pen to write all of the things, all, all the, the labels, I mean, of this spread. And now we are moving on to another um, set of pens. And this is the Sailor 
brush pens this is actually double-ended and this comes in very many different colors but i only have that one pack that i got from hobonichi there is a haul video for this and i will link that up above in the cards as well so here i'm making a key or rather a legend a color legend for this little graph that i made and I'm using only a few colors. I didn't use the pink one. I decided not to go for the pink. It was a little too bright. I'm really um, partial to pink, but that was a very bright pink. And I feel like these colors um, really match together. And then here I am making a little doodle. And then on top of that, I am writing down key and by the way what you just saw where I'm pressing down with my finger uh, that's so the ink will dry a little bit faster and it works quite well here I've taken stickers and these are functional stickers well no they're emoji or activity stickers and that one is from Craftrina a local shop and then I'm also taking my velbe functional stickers or icon stickers maybe and that one is for laundry i only have a few of these and i think they are not a very great many icons that she comes up with she's more of like decorative very artsy hand-drawn stickers i really love her art art style and i do wish that she'd come up with some more icon stickers that I can use in my functional spreads. So that's the dot side of the Zig color dot something. I forgot. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I do love that pen, the gray one. I have the blue one and it's just way too dark. And here I'm just putting information down using my fountain pen. And I think that's all really that but that I will be doing just filling out the information now and I won't be putting any more things because there is no space every space has been accounted for with the exception of the coat at the very bottom and actually this spread is very similar to the one I did before let's go ahead and talk about this spread so first I have five columns actually, four columns that are tinier and one big column that has two trackers and one little space for notes. In the first column I have my today section and this has general events that is also um, all, or also has work things. And then I have finance which is tracking my spending and my income and I think this is a great way to keep on top of it and then I have my social events I do have quite a few um, or much more time to go see people so I want to track that and then next to that on the right page I have my cleaning or homekeeping tasks that is quite new to me I'm very into it and I am very happy to be doing it so here I have the big column on the right side of the page and part of it is meal planning. Well, a great part of it is meal planning. On top, that's just my targets, but then the rest is my meal planning as well as my time tracker. So here I have a quite a small tracker and I wish that this would be be something that would work for me and that is it for us today thank you so much for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you want some more planning videos please subscribe to my channel and our next video will be on my techo kaigi week 11 2023 and this is a live audio video and i'll see you there <laughs>